So how long does red light therapy take to work? This is a very important question if you're considering whether you should get a home device or maybe you should just go to a spa for a couple of sessions. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is breaking down the different benefits in a timeline. So we're going to cover what you will experience from the very first session, what you will experience in the first two weeks, what happens between two weeks and two months, and then what happens beyond the two month time point. And I've worked with red light therapy products for about six years now. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you some of the results from people that I've worked with and then also some clinical studies so that you can figure out when you're going to experience the benefit that you are looking for. So your very first red light therapy session is probably not going to turn you into Superman. There is a bit of an adaptation process that happens with red light therapy. Most of us are not getting enough red and infrared light because we spend so much time inside. And what you may already know is that red light therapy helps your cells to make more energy. Now, one of the byproducts of this energy production is an increase in free radicals, and your body needs to balance out free radicals with antioxidants. Now, when you first start doing red light therapy, you actually have a cap to how much your body can use the red and infrared light. So from the first two weeks, the results won't be as good as they can be because you are adapting to this increase in red and infrared light. With that said, your very first red light therapy session, you'll probably feel a little bit better. A lot of people report that on the very first night after they do red light therapy, they have an improvement in sleep quality. Pain is something that normally takes a little bit longer. And I'm going to show you two cases here where people got results from the very first session. But I don't want you to set that as the bar that it's definitely what everyone experiences. But two people that I've worked with, the first one was Jesse. And Jesse said, I first tried it on an aching shoulder and I felt immediate relief after. James said, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me. The first time I used it, I had hand surgery two weeks before. I bought the red light. I was going through therapy for the last couple of weeks. It was not helping my hand. My hand was in the worst condition. I couldn't squeeze my hand. It was so painful. Then the red light came. The first time I used it on my hand for five minutes, I could not believe it. I could feel less pain in my hand. The second time I could squeeze my hand, it was less painful. Now those may be exceptions, but a lot of people do experience pain relief from the very first session because red light therapy helps your body to make endorphins, which are your body's natural painkillers. In the first two weeks now, you'll notice that there'll be a greater reduction in pain. This won't be a complete eradication, but depending on your case, you may feel that there is less pain. You'll probably also find that throughout the day, you have more energy. If you're sleeping better over a more consistent period, you're catching up on all that sleep that you lost when you had poorer sleep quality. You'll notice that you have a lot more energy. Your inflammation levels are probably decreasing. And a very interesting benefit that you might not be able to tell, but in the first two weeks of using red light therapy, your stem cell production will increase. So studies have shown that when you do red light therapy, specifically on your shins, it can increase stem cell production and stem cells are so essential for healing anything in your body. They're basically undifferentiated cells and those will go to any part of your body where you have some kind of injury and help it to heal. Now there's one study where they targeted osteoarthritis in the knee and they did red light therapy for 10 days and after the 10 day period they noticed that there was greater than a 50% reduction in pain. So between two weeks and two months, this is when the magic starts happening. So your body is adapted to red light therapy. You can probably increase your session times now and your body will be able to use the light better. And at this point, the kind of injuries that are related to nerves and cartilage damage, these start improving because your body is actually healing. We did our own study where we treated people with neuropathy over an eight week time period. And what we found is at the end of eight weeks, the people had a 38% reduction in numbness, a 33% reduction in pain, and a 25% improvement in sleep quality. I'll link up to a video over here where I discussed the study that we did, and that was treating people with red light therapy to help them with their neuropathy. At two months and beyond, you're going to start noticing improvements that maybe happen over a slower time period, but are noticeable as quickly. So one example would be increased hair growth. Hair growth obviously is something you're not going to notice day to day, but in a clinical study, they found that over 16 weeks or four months, they had a 35% increase in hair growth. This study has been replicated in both men and women. If you're after skin benefits, then this is also when you'll start noticing improvements in your skin complexion and decreased wrinkles. 
Again, I'll link to a study up here where they showed that over a four month period, there were improvements in collagen production, decreased wrinkles, and much better skin complexion when using red light therapy. Someone I worked with, Lindsay, so she used her device for 10 weeks after she had a surgery. She said, I love my mitochondria Mylite Max. I had extensive surgery about 10 weeks ago, which left scars on my abdomen, back, and chest. Not only do I know red light therapy has helped my physical healing and scarring process, it has helped me with mental healing and sleep as well. Another person I worked with reported back four months after buying their device. So they got a device in December and then they wrote in this review in April. And Tom said, I purchased my red light therapy in early December 2023. I started using it right away for peripheral neuropathy in both of my feet. I have had good results so far. Four things that come to mind that are so much better than before I started with the device. My mobility has gotten so much better, almost normal. Pain and inflammation in feet is basically gone. The feeling in my feet is back. I've since been using it on anything that hurts now. So when you get to this point beyond two months, it's actually not what red light therapy is able to do. It's what your body is able to do when you allow it to heal by itself. So at this point, you've probably got much lower levels of inflammation. Your body can then focus on the things that it needs to heal. A lot of the times when we have these kind of injuries and we have increased inflammation, your body doesn't have the capacity to actually heal them. So by doing red light therapy over a two month plus period, you're giving your body the best chance to do what it's meant to do and to actually heal properly. Now, if you are considering getting yourself a red light therapy device, you need to know that most of the home devices don't actually work. So if you wanna make sure that you don't waste your money, go and check out this video. I will teach you what the four things are to look for in a high quality red light therapy device. And that way we can make sure that you don't waste your money.